Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. I hope that you're having an awesome day. Today I wanted to do something a little different and try out one of the vlogging videos that I see a lot of people doing. I really enjoy just kind of going around and getting to see what people do for either a living or for their day and kind of what the area looks like and how they kind of do their life. So I thought that I would try one of those out. I hope that it goes well. Y'all know I'm still learning, so kind of bear with me. But today I'm really excited because I have a friend who has reached out wanting help to get her laundry room in order. She doesn't want anything over the top, just some minor decluttering and some cleaning and a little bit of organization. She knows how much I love this and since I've been doing it for about two years and she's heard about this nonstop, she decided to ask me to come over. So I thought I'd take y'all along for the ride and let you see kind of how it goes. You ready? Let's get started. We live kind of out in the middle of nowhere in the country. It's very nice and quiet. Now, what I thought might be cool is while I'm driving, I took some footage last night while we were out shopping. I went last night to grab just a few things that I thought we might need to be able to organize after we actually do the declutter process and cleaning. And so I'll just take you along. I just took a few little footage shots, no like talking or anything, just walking around the store while we were looking for certain items. It took me a little bit of time to find something. I had to go to two different stores and believe it or not, I found more stuff at the bargain store than I even found at Marshall's. So always check out your bargain stores just to be able to save a little bit extra money. And they really had some cute things and a ton of organization stuff. So I hope that you like this. I'll let you watch that while I drive to her house and I'll see you in just a few.
So we're not at my house today. We're at a friend's house who will rena remain anonymous. <laughs> um, I'm super excited that she reached out to me to let me help get things just organized. Her place is actually not bad at all compared to the way that my house was when I started out. But just putting a little bit of organization into things truly helps so much with just day-to-day -day, um, activities that you need to do in the house. So let's get started. she wanted to keep, what she wanted to donate, and what she was going to trash. We had a trash um, bag set up and a bin to actually leave with me and go to the donation center so that once we're done today, everything is already complete. Now, on to the cleaning.
has. Just like that, we're done. It didn't take but like five minutes. So we got all the cleaning done. And then we kind of played around with the organization bins that I bought to make sure that she was going to like the setup of things before we took everything out and we're going to put it back in place with the items that she was able to go through and declutter and decide that this is what they actually need in here.
So in our first cabinet, what she had up here originally was glass bases to be able to put her flowers in as well as her oil lamps, but they were kind of all just all over the place um, on the top shelf. So we did corral them into one bin. You can see them up there on the top. So now she can actually pull down that one bin. It's a lot more easy to be able to get out and get the exact base that she's wanting at the time. We use this extra organization underneath the shelf. Um, it's a very sturdy metal shelf to be able to house her um, laundry sheets. And if you put them in a Tupperware container like this, it just helps lock in the freshness so that they actually work better when you use them. And then all of her delicate bags are here as well, just for easy access while she's doing her laundry. Next, we have all of her laundry items. She did prefer to keep everything into the original organization. Again, personal preference, whatever makes this easiest for you, most functional. So we have liquid detergent, we have her bleach, we have spot cleaner, all right here with the washing machine. The very next shelf over up here is air fresheners and then like cleaning brushes, all housed up there for the house. Down here below, we use two bins. And in the first one, we have additional laundry items. Shout, Woolite, Rit, scent boosters, and OxyClean. But it's all corralled right here, so she can easily pull this down if she needs to, put it here, get out what she needs, and then easily just put it back up into the cabinet. Just like that. The next one over. She had some, a small amount of items. So um, we put some of her cleaning rags in here, sponges, and then she did have some of the pods for laundry. Um, there was just a small amount, so we put them here. So we've got everything, cleaning and laundry, all together in one shelf. Okay, now, this room needed to be multifunctional. So in the last bin, we have the hubby's bin. <laughs> so the upper part, he is really big into barbecue. So the two green totes we did so that they matched. Green means for his barbecue items. That way he can easily grab them and go. We have stuff to be able to light the grill, cleaners, um, scrub brushes for him, and um, cloth. Then we also have some house items that he tends to grab for some extra backup filters for the house, and some stain. So again, just a quick, easy hubby bin for him. Everything's organized all together. He knows which self everything is in and easy to grab. So I think all in all, we did a great job. Everything's clean. Everything is organized. She really, really likes it. We went with the teal bins just because that she loves the ocean. So maybe we kind of make her feel a little bit like she's at vacation while she's doing some of her laundry. Functional, organized, and simple.
all finished. We have everything organized above. And we reorganized everything in the pantry so it's easy to find. Pantry staples to the right. Condiments, crackers, broth for soup. All of her canned items here. We got rid of a, a couple of the jackets from in here and put them in the back closet. And so we were able to put her organizer in here and just kind of group everything together for napkins, freezer items, anything that you'd need for food storage all in one place. I think it turned out pretty good just for a spruce up. It looks so nice and clean. Doesn't have to be Pinterest perfect, just functional. So I'm sitting here editing the video and realizing that I didn't actually conclude the video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, it actually didn't take us too long. Don't be discouraged guys. Just get in there and maybe even do just a little bit at a time. Total, the project probably took us about two and a half hours. And so it wasn't really that bad. It did take me a little bit of time to find the actual items that we were going to put into her space once we decluttered and was going back with organization but that's fun you know getting to pick things out that you're gonna be able to use that's gonna make your life a little bit better so i hope that this encourages someone to get started even if it's just one cabinet one drawer i promise it will make so much difference when you're going through all of your normal daily routines especially laundry we all know that that can be such a pain so if you liked this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I definitely have a lot more content that I'm excited to get out and to share. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and you like the improvements that we made. Again, it doesn't have to be Pinterest perfect, just functional. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you get stressed out when you have to declutter or does it make you feel better? Thanks. I'll see y'all next time.